Zane Gonzalez will kick away. And Charles Nelson back deep to return for the Ducks. And from halfway into the end zone comes Nelson. As he finds his way out towards the 30 yard line. As the California kid, the grad transfer, Vernon Adams, the quarterback, and of that last class at Eastern Washington before he could officially transfer, and a quick pop right over the middle that time to Evan Bayless. Play action. Adams with time downfield. He's looking for Carrington. And he comes up with a great catch inside the 10. That after the 46-yard reception, Adams and Royce Freeman, a sensational sophomore in the backfield. Quickly this time to Brown, and Jalen Brown is met right away. We'll talk more about that a little later on. For now, second and goal as they come to the near side. And tripped up at the seven-yard line was Braylon Addison. Third and goal now for Adams. To the end zone. Incomplete as Braylon Addison was covered by Kareem Orr, the true freshman, making Schneider is 8 of 9 inside of 40 yards. This just from 24 yards to open up the game. And Oregon scores on their opening drive. And here is White on a bouncer that he fielded inside the five. And he has wrestled down at the 22. Richard and Foster in the backfield here to open up the offensive set for Arizona State. As Richard spins free, Demario Richard with a good gainer to get the night going, finally taken down by Reggie Daniels. Very excited to have him back, big part of this rushing attack. And he gets the call on second and two, maybe just short of that line. This offensive line has not done a great job getting push, I feel like, in their last two games against Colorado and Utah. Tonight, got to establish the line of scrimmage. Third and one, and that'll move the chains and more as he lowers a shoulder into Charles Nelson. This only goes for two that time, as it was Henry Mondu making the tackle. Richard remains in that pistol formation on second and eight. And not much that time on the inside as Mondu the first to get them, and then cleaned up by Joe Walker, Oregon's leading tackler. Third down and five for Berkovici. Richard carried on all five plays so far, and now this. Incomplete as he was looking for Devin Lucy and covered by Robinson. Very capable return man, Braylon Addison, had that 81 yarder for a touchdown against Michigan State. He's got to field it coming off of a left foot tonight of Matt Hawk. And it bounces harmlessly out of bounds, especially on a night like tonight. As this time, Freeman is sent back. Tonight. Second and nine, Adams, and he quickly gets it to Bayless, who tried to reach ahead for the line to make. Third down and one. As Adams leaves the backfield, and Freeman now on the direct snap. Good penetration into the backfield. It was Fiso again. So that sends Ian Wheeler on to punt, coming off his best game as a duck average 45.6 against Washington. Gump Hayes back to return. And this is going to take a Ducks bounce and a big one at that inside the 20. The Spiders got them that night. Swinging it this time for DJ Foster, but unable to connect is Berkovici. They go back to Richard this time. This is where they have found at least some success. Joe Walker with another tackle. They need big plays tonight. Third and four, Berkovici, and this is complete for a first down as he's able to find Foster. 
local guy from Scottsdale. Over 2,000 yards rushing, 2,000 yards receiving in his career. Almost intercepted that time. Rich able to get there clean. Buckner was trying to get his mitts up there. Here's Richard now on second down as he finds a hole before he was met by Reggie Daniel. That huge run sets up third and short. Third and three here. Quick screen pass, but met right away that time was Tim White. That was a good play again by Robinson. Yeah. End over end this time. Not a good looking effort, and it sits right there because of it as it is down at the 27. Here's Adams, little inside screen to Addison, who did a nice job wiggling his way to the 35. Freeman motions out, and it's a quarterback run, and Adams was met and then wrestled back that time. Third and short. Freeman didn't need to be physical. Nothing but green space. Royce Freeman, how about it? Sixty-four yard touchdown by Royce Freeman. They're bringing pressure from this side. This safety's running that way. There is nobody back here for Royce Freeman to hit it. Feast or famine on defense when you bring pressure like they do. Royce Freeman, great job with the vision, good speed. Royce Freeman leads the Pac-12 in rushing. Christian McCaffrey at Stanford, number two. Berkovici on first down. As he quickly gets it to Lucian. They think they got the magic formula and they can stick with the rest of the year. Quick now screen, and it's good enough for the two yards. As they need to get him back on the field. Back to the ground they go. They're able to stack up Balage. And they think he has the ability to win some of those over the middle of the field and help the turnover margin for this defense. Second and five, Berkovici. Quick strike, complete Lucian, first down, and he shakes free. How about the stiff arm inside the 30-yard line? Devian Lucian. Good yardage after the catch. Gonna take a shot downfield, and this overthrown once again, looking for Lucian. The flag is down back at the 19-yard line. Defensive holding is... It's against Amadi, true freshman cornerback again. Land Clarks makes for a first down at the 19. Balaj tackled for a loss that time. Second and 11, a little pace this time. Going to test the near side with Balaj. Buckner riding him down for the tackle. Receivers two by two for Berkovici on third and four. Balaj on the ground. And it'll be first and goal, Arizona State. First and goal, trying to spin free and only able to pick up a yard. Buckner was the first one there. Second and goal, that's Tim White in motion as the whistles come in. Movement. Goal now. Play action. Berkovici trying to extend the play. And now decided to tuck and run. And he gets himself to the eight yard line. Third and goal for Berkovici in the Sun Devils. And it was dropped that time as Lucian couldn't hold on. He had put them in position, but couldn't come up with the catch on third and goal. 26 yard attempt for Zane Gonzalez. And he puts it off to the left. He had made seven straight field goals prior to that. So a failed red trip for the Sun Devils. And now Vernon Adams just trying to make the most of it, and he throws it away. Adams again to pass. 
Tried to throw back with a middle screen that time as he was looking for Devin Allen. Third and ten after the timeout. The pressing up coverage. They're showing a little B gap pressure. Adams launches it on a vertical release and nearly complete that time as he was looking for Dwayne Stanford, who was covered by Brown. So Wheeler back on again to punt. So Gump Hayes, the return man for Arizona State. As he was taken down right away that time. Rukovici sprinting out with protection and complete as he finds Ellis Jefferson. It's up 10-0 on Arizona State. Richard trying to cut back against the grain and finally wrestled down at the 47 by Prevo. Middle portion of the season as they're healthier now. Rukovici on second and 14. For Buckner. Third and 14. Complete for a first down. That's Gary Chambers. That was a good drive into the ball by Berkovici. Watch Berkovici here get the snap, kind of scans the field, hitches, ball comes out early, accurate throw, nice catch, beautiful conversion there on a third down. This could be a trick play, but instead of passing, Gamage decides to tuck and run. They wanted to throw this down the sideline. Watch down the right sideline. There's a receiver blocking, but the safety's there to make the play. You Put see him on his rump, too. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? Second and 14 now. Rukovici, and he gets this complete as Foster hauls it in near the 25-yard line. Middle of the field would be a good option. Third and six, taken down for a sack. As Alex Balducci, who's having a very productive season, comes up big. And he, nice job on the pass rush, watch over here. Or sorry, right over the ball. The nose guard, number 73, it's a, just a pure swim move. Very poor pass protection. Because of that, that makes this field goal an adventure. As good as Gonzalez has been, this is gonna have to be a bomb. Listen, he was good from 53 in warm-ups. This from 52. He gave it a good run, but it just slipped to the side. Kelly, as you know, they felt confident they potentially could get one on Vernon Adams based on the way he carries the ball. But right now it's Royce Freeman who's going to tuck that away, keep those legs going and get a good gainer out to midfield. 16-yard run it's good for tough, Royce Freeman. It's good tough running, Joe, but if you're going to run to the perimeter, you've got to be able to seal the edge. And Crosby, the right tackle, 73, did an outstanding job of that. And after that, it's all 21. Strong legs, those feet con con consistently churning. Adams, quick screen this time. And Stanford only gets a couple of yards. And since Graham's been here, it just hasn't happened this year. Benoit, as the triple option, ends up with a pass to Carrington, who charges ahead. It's going to be close to that mark there. Third and one. Tackle for loss, add to the list, and it comes at a critical time. Don't know where it's going to come from. There's linebackers coming all over the place. you got a cross dog here right in the middle. You got a polling guard who's going to get one of them. That was Fiso, but no one was there to get Sam. Had a chance. Kalen Balaj, square those shoulders and run. Good gainer. Out to the 38, 18-yard run. A 30-pound running back going north. This time, a little jump cut, and then reaching his way out to the 45, tackled by Robinson. Second and three. Here's Richard this time, as he goes behind a big block, and he gets free inside the 30, and still taking Charles Nelson for a ride. They're, bene they're benefiting. Receiver screen. 
And Tim White couldn't shake free that time. And once again, it was that left side of the line, it looked like. Yeah, left tackle. As Berkovici's telling them, guys, calm down, settle in. False start. Offense number 57. Five yard penalty. Sound. Second and 12, Berkovici, they only bring four, so he has time. And on the sideline at the 19-yard line, that's Cody Cole with the reception. Play action, Berkovici gets it out inside the 10. And that is Tim White, who was tackled by Reggie Daniels. On the slam. Touchdown! It's an accurate throw from Berkovici, putting it right on the body. You see the cornerback there having inside leverage, but there's no defense for a perfect throw. Take a look, it's close. So that football never touched the ground. He's kind of got it on his body. It's tucked in there in that left arm. It bobbles a little bit, but never hit the ground. It's a nice play. Now they're showing that muddle huddle before they swap out to the conventional PAT formation. Devin Lucian's second touchdown reception of the year. And cuts it to a three-point game. Nelson from the goal line. As he makes his way out to the 26. Gets it to Freeman, and Freeman is met well at the line of scrimmage that time by Fiso. Yeah, you get receivers in behind their secondary, you can land haymakers and land big plays. They've had a couple big plays on offense. they got to keep that mindset up. Second and ten. They had the isolated coverage that time with Devin Allen, and they take advantage of it. They were going with a reverse there to Allen, but whistles shut it down. As there was movement. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense number seven. But penalty, still first down. So backed up to a first and 15 for Adams now. As over the middle, he gets it complete to Braylon Addison who crosses midfield for a Ducks first half. But tonight, Vernon Adams, he's been pretty good behind center. Turns back inside tunnel that is incomplete. Actually did a 180 there and then tried to find Addison. That was interesting. Todd Graham had a say about that in a moment. Second and 10. That is incomplete. Oregon definitely taking measures to make sure it doesn't get him tonight. Third and 10. Adams, can he get there? Brown comes up short that time. Fourth down. Adams to pass. Downfield he goes, wide open, touchdown, Carrington. And a complete coverage bust by Arizona State. You got a guy in motion running a wheel. You got Stanford number 88 running a shallow, and everybody forgot about Darren Carrington. Offside with co contact, defense number 90. Half the distance to the goal, try for point. Yep. But now, here in midseason, back healthy, back with the full array of weaponry, including Darren Carrington, and the Ducks. 76 straight game with a touchdown pass. That extends their FBS record. The rest of the regular season is not overly daunting. There's no doubt about that. Matt Wogan has that big boot. Told you third nationally in kickoff average. Let's go back to that touchdown, Joe. On this play, Arizona State gets outnumbered on defense. You're going to see the receiver coming in motion at this point right here. They're blitzing this guy. They've got two DBs against three receivers. And everybody forgets about Carrington running the seam right down the middle of the field. This is what happens when you blitz as much as you do. If guys get misaligned. They don't make the appropriate adjustments to motion. You get gashed. 
And tonight, Oregon's already come up with three explosive plays offensively. There's DJ Foster. Goes for about eight and a half yards there. Three and a half sacks in his last two games. Second and one, Berkovici. First down and a bit more Balage to midfield he goes, met by Charles Nelson. These last couple drives. And tests the left side this time with Balage, and he goes for ten and a half yards. There's Berkovici to pass. And he's short of that as Tim White had some real estate. Berkovici entered a streak of seven straight completions with that last throw. Here he is on second and ten. As he was pressured and then let it go that time. Berkovici has time and has a man in stride. That's Chambers. Gary Chambers, touchdown, Sun Devils. This time. He gets run right by. He jams Chambers at the line of scrimmage, but without any safety help, he never turned around and sprinted and got depth to cover that deep third area. Got to make these Oregon defenders pay for when they make mistakes like that. A team on his shoulders. Now we're going to talk a little Heismanology. As Royce Freeman and Braylon Addison in the backfield for the Ducks. Adams turns away, being chased. Can he survive it? Throws it left-handed out of bounds. Now, he did that earlier this year and completed a pass. Yeah, he did. Second and ten now. As they go empty with Freeman motioning out. And he gets it complete this time to Carrington. Number He was looking, looking, looking at Addison, and finally it was Fiso and Latou who found him. And they just caused massive confusion on the left side of the line. They're bringing one here, one here, and Freeman at running back 21. He's not even sure who to protect. The tight end gets beat, and there you see it. It's just chaotic the way that Arizona State Was he State looking screen it. and go? Picture's going to change. College football playoffs going to be brought out. The first standings on Tuesday. Good time. See what Arizona State can come up with here. Mm. That helps right away, Devin Lucian. From 26 and 52, but could be in position here for another attempt. Berkovici. Oh, he was looking to run out and leak to that right side, but he was met by two Italia. So work to be done here on second and 14. Berkovici quickly gets it out, but it was thrown to the inside and a little hot for Lucian. Really are. Look at that shell as they shift over a bit here on third and 14. Swings it to Richard out of the backfield. And that green line you see there is the field goal range established for Zane Gonzalez. Fourth down. You, know, you got to take your time here. You got to make sure you get the right play call on. Now, very late substitution by Arizona State. Now they're bringing the field goal unit out. So Gonzalez does come on this time. And this is holding marked down. For a 54-yard attempt, we know he has the leg strength, but can he put it through? And that is no good. 0 for 3, first half for Zane Gonzalez. As Royce Freeman will just finish out the first half. One of them where they ran the kicker out late before the half. And this is a high rotating kick that'll go for a touchback at Arizona State. And they are honoring the late, great Pat Tillman as Foster to open up the second half for the Sun Devils. As they honor all servicemen tonight. Second and seven now here. Good looking run from Richard. Cuts back and then puts down his shoulder and runs over Tyree Robinson. Here's Foster now. And Foster was torn down by Henry Mondu. 
Got the Kanye West defense now. Almost intercepted that time. As that was Reggie Daniels. Third and six. A little shallow crossing route is complete for a first down to Jefferson. Richard spinning his way inside the 40-yard line. Let's keep the ball in front. Second and six pass this time. That is complete for a first down to Gamage. When it's mattered most, this Oregon defense has stepped up, and that's all that Don Pelmer, D coordinator, cares about. Berkovici with time. Downfield he goes, and this is well overthrown. Option play with a blocker in front as the quick pass goes to Tim White. That was a great looking play. First and ten. Read that one and brought it down to the ten yard line. Berkovici to the end zone. Nowhere near Jefferson. High into the outside. Is this a 28-yard attempt. Missed from 26 earlier. And that time he drills, he drills it. Absolutely drills it through. Graham told me they didn't get the call in. You had two guys running the opposite ways. Flag is down as. Gonzalez struck it out to the left. Kickoff out of bounds. Kicking team number five. By rule, the ball will be placed at the 35-yard line. First down, Oregon. When you include Houston and Memphis. Here's Adams. Oh, what an effort that time. Kareem Orr. But here's a throw by Vernon Adams. Throwing into the slant, it's a little bit high. We talked about high passes over the middle of the field get tipped. And a great job by the true freshman, Kareem Moore. Watch him get under this football with the right hand, scoop it out. Tremendous athletic ability. You can see why this coaching staff is so high on this young true freshman safety. Berkovici. Ball's loose. And who's got it? He had two linemen fighting for it. Let's take a look at this again. It's Tyson Coleman, number 33, out here. Working one-on-one -on -one against the right tackle, McGee. Just kind of hesitates, and Berkovici just doesn't get the football out of his hands. That's on the quarterback, yeah. And then the ball's loose, and a 20th fumble. They've been lucky. They've only lost eight all season. Mario Richard, he is taken down by Buckner back in the game. What a difference it is with the Forrest Buckner in there. Go back and take a look at the sack again. The fourth sack by the Oregon Ducks. Berkovici's clock has to go off. He's sitting there, he's holding on to the ball. It's bad ball security holding onto the football with just one hand. And here is the recovery. I don't know how he got this. He got his right paw on it, fought it away from two Oregon defenders. Third and 14. What an effort that time coming back for the ball. Gary Chambers. And check that spot. They've got an interesting little play here that they can run. They also have a quick kick, mind you, with Berger Beach. Penalty flag comes in as the play looked disrupted from the start as Cody Cole was bracketed. Holding an eligible receiver. Defense. A 10-yard penalty with an automatic first down. By Arizona State. So they convert the fourth down by way of penalty, and now here goes Richard! Demario Richard! Touchdown! Arizona State takes the lead! They've been doing a phenomenal job. You got the center pulling, getting a kick out. You get your right tackle coming all the way around, creating a seam for Richard to run right through. He was not even touched until he was in the second level. They've played so far. The two of us and we'll talk a little more, more about this. Two of us have the advantage in conference play. You got two teams at two and two, desperate to stay alive. How about Vernon Adams taking a shot and almost connecting that time with Devin Allen. That was broken up by Kareem or the true freshman <laughs> who had the interception moments ago. 
Adams incomplete off the hands of Addison. And it is loud here at Sun Devil Stadium. And these Ducks are looking to respond. And around this time, it is Carrington. Carrington with blockers in front, passes midfield, tiptoed, stepped out of bounds. But a good gain for Darren Carrington, who has come up big already tonight. First down at the 39. Freeman trying to cut back against the grain, but he has wrestled down that time to Demetrius Cherry. But limited carries tonight. Here's another inside screen. Addison, here he goes! Inside the 20 and thrown forward by Simone. It was a great catch by Addison. You're going to see him climb the ladder and get this. But I want you to also notice bodies downfield. you got 62 Pearson. you got 81 Bayless getting blocks out in front of him. Frost this time hands off to the big back, Freeman, who muscles his way inside the 12. Second and eight. Adams. How did he survive that? Wasn't wrapped up at all, just bounced off of it. And then goes out. Yeah, you have to finish the play. If you're Arizona State, there's a late flag, Joe. With Simone coming in late there. Maybe a little bit of frustration. Well, oh, he's losing uh, his balance yeah. a bit as he yeah. came in. I think a good acting After job. After the play, personal foul, late hit out of bounds, defense number 32. After the distance to the goal, an automatic first down. Yeah, he definitely pulled up. He, yeah. went, he was actually trying to hold Vernon Adams up. It was a so first and goal. As Oregon looks to tie things up here on the road. Forward progress of Freeman stopped at the five yard lines. Second and goal. Adams looks back, extends to this side, and a flag is down as he threw it in the direction of Dwayne Stanford. Pass interference, offense number 88, a 15 yard penalty, second down. Good. Adams looking for a throwback. Oh. Almost intercepted by Smallwood. Was that dangerous, Jesse? <laughs> Incomplete. Far beyond Carrington that time. Made from 24 earlier. This from 37. So they get three out of it. Playing tough defense. But, but this is a different. Having a talented quarterback. This is a different deal this weekend. Different animal in Notre Dame. Tim White's going to. Halfway through the third. Quick pass to Tim White, who's dangerous in spots like that. As he has elite speed and goes for 11 it's... yards. Well, you pitch it out wide, you can't be right if you're in defense. Here's Caleb Balazs, had a huge hole, passes midfield, inside the 35, and down to the 30-yard line. Balazs to run through. Kukovic was under pressure, diving effort that time by Tim White is incomplete. Foster and Balazs are in the backfield with Berkovic. And he's going to read this, and he puts his shoulder down and goes ahead for a gain of three. A bit too long at times tonight. Third and six. First down, and inside the two-yard line, D.J. Foster, first and goal, Arizona State. Touchdown, Richard. Berkovici to Demario Richard. And the Spartans, boy, do they have Uncle Mo. Momentum's on their side. We talk about Richard being a great tough runner, but he's also got excellent hands. Watch him kind of stymie up to the linebacker here. Make it look like he's slowing down. I'm going to block. Nope, right by. Easy throw and catch. Here go 
goes Charles Nelson. Watch out. Charles Nelson, kickoff return. Touchdown, Ducks. Charles Nelson moved from offense to defense, but they never took him off special teams. Good reason why, one of the best in the country. Watch him set the blocks up and then make the kicker miss. That is a nightmare for Zane Gonzalez, who's already had a rough night. He's missed three field goals. He had a kickoff out of bounds. Now you find yourself one-on-one -on -one with number six, one of the best returners in the nation. Gary Campbell, the running back coach, giving him some love. You think about that well-managed drive by Arizona State. And then all it takes is brilliant speed and talent delivered upon. It's been really one of their strong points, strong suits, week in, week out. Just a nice job kind of setting up the return, making it look like he's running to the middle of the field and then cutting it back to the right sideline where he had all his blocks. You mentioned it, Joe, way too much speed. Whether it's him, Braylon Addison, they've got guys that can hurt you and they can change the complexion of a game on one play. And that's exactly what Oregon did right there. It was literally an 11-point game seconds ago. Nelson's first career kickoff return for a touchdown. He's done it by way of pump return two times. Here's Balazs. Back and forth they go. Balazs, he just steamrolled him. He gets put on his hood. Spotting the ball at the 42. As they stay on the ground here. Quickly kept playing. Second and five. Berkovici wants all of it here. And it goes through the hands of Lucian, who had a turnaround with Arian Springs in his face. You know, Foster motions out. Berkovici, a rush of four. And he was met that time as Buckner got in on him. Matt Hawk on to punt away. Madison's going to plant those heels on the 10. Reverse rotation to try to pin it here. It's the fair catch at the 13, and the flag comes in as he was surrounded. Interference with the opportunity to catch the kick. Kicking team, number 25, a 15 yard penalty. First down, Oregon. Well, the rule is when a guy's making a fair catch, kick catch interference, you have to be out of the area, right, basically right in front of the returner, defined by as a yard in front of him and in between his shoulder pads, and that's exactly where Kareem Moore found himself. It's a good call. And Wa getting a carry now, and he does a nice job of nearly eight yards on the run. Second and two, and Wa again picks up a block, turns on the speed, could he? How about it, folks? We got back and forth here in the desert. Good stuff by the Ducks. Drive, watch seven on the perimeter down here against number eight, Lloyd Carrington. Not related, just gets him tied up enough to spring Benoit and all that speed. Think of your Oregon, remember, for years now. Yeah, you've scored a lot of points, but the bread and butter of this offense is running the football. 62-yard touchdown run. Nye Benoit, and just like that, at Sun Devil Stadium. And here's Tim White, who's very dangerous himself. And Tim White kept his balance there somehow, and then got it out to the 33-yard line. Mario Richard, nice job by Richard to get himself to the 40-yard line, a gain of seven. Again on the ground, cut back against the grain and was met after a gain of only one yard that time. As they got a stack formation with Foster to the top of your screen. Now he comes in motion on third and two. And they were trying to drag Balazs. Instead, it opens up for Berkovici.
Last play of the third quarter as Richard is running hard. Have just a little bit of fun out here. And they'll enjoy that as Perkovici takes it ahead for a first down. Perkovici has 281 yards passing and three touchdowns. Contributing where he can on the ground, and this was all too easy. DJ Foster. side this time and not much there at all and one at a time Seven and ten play action for the Vici that was just a lot of traffic and there's in Gonzalez one of four kicking field goals tonight third and 11 intercepted that time Reggie Daniels the miscommunication between Berkovici and his wide receiver. I think he thought that DJ Foster was going to break that underneath. Let's go back and take a look at the action. Caught this, Joe. It's extremely close. Richie Daniels appeared. He's got his hands underneath that. Did the ground help him catch this football? Check it out. He's got it there in the body. It appears as though, but I don't know if he completely controlled it. After review, the ruling is the ball hit the ground. Therefore, it's an incomplete pass. First down. You see the disappointment with Reggie Daniels. This to tie the game from 33. And he does. And then Arizona State had to come back. Field goal moments ago, tying up this game. with the graduate transfer, Vernon Adams. And here is pressure. And Adams can't get free at the 15-yard line as that was Wakiola bringing him down. Empty set here now. Pressure again. And as he quickly gets it out to Stanford, tackled at the line of scrimmage by D.J. Calhoun. Third and 19. And they're going to go underneath to Addison, who's going to need a little more than that, as he is ridden out of bounds by Solomon Means. And he does turn that one over as Gump Hayes from inside the 25. And the coverage was able to find him. Richard, not much that time. Week in, week out, but tonight they've been pretty good. Second and seven. Just a couple more. Berkovici tonight on third down has been solid. They run again, and they do get it that time. Threw his shoulder in there. He's not going to get it done. There's that quick toss off the option. Tim White. I mean, he's got pure, raw speed and thrown down out of bounds by Charles Nelson. And the read option with the attachment went for 29 yards that time. Richard. Maybe about three and a half yards. Second and six. Quick pass inside the 10. Down to the five. Devin Lucien. First and goal. Well, he tried to get it right on Gamage. Second and goal. Alternate universe play call. <laughs> what an effort. But he couldn't haul it in as once again Daniels was in there defensively. Five tries. What can they come up with here? Third and goal. Berkovici throw back. Wide open. Money Cody Cole. Potentially. Watch 83 down here at the bottom of the screen. He's going to come out of his three-point stance, fall down on the ground, act as if he was trying to cut block. He gets up quickly. The Oregon defense have completely lost him. And that was award-winning execution right there. You have a ton of player tonight. Here's Charles Nelson. Remember, he went for 100 yards earlier tonight. As he tried to keep his balance. There's a slant batted away that time. That was a heady play by Fiso. 
Vernon Adams now on second down, stumbling and goes down at the 24. Fiso was the first one to get after him. Third and 15. Coming off the edge. Adams stays up, goes downfield. Oh, and it goes through the hands of Darren Carrington. How, how, how? Wow. On offense for Oregon tonight. Comes up with the biggest missed opportunity. It's a big Ducks bounce that time. The punt from Wheeler. Like this. As he dives ahead. For a gain of nine yards. He decided to stay, fight it out, and here he is playing maybe the game of his life. And another first down. 45% of the entire sport transfers based on playing time. Good strike over the middle. Another first down past midfield. 66 yards of total offense. Most they've had in nearly 10 years. Downfield. This time intercepted by Robinson. Tyree Robinson. And he loses the ball and gets it back. When they think they have an offside, they don't move. And I think that's what Berkovici thought he had right here. I think he thought he had a free play. So he just chucked the football deep down the field. And there's Tyree Robinson, who's made a lot of plays tonight early, also gave up a touchdown pass. Look at the left side of the defense here. It looks like there's a flinch. It looked to me like there might have been an offsides. It was never called. And that is a huge turnover in this game. Wow. Adams. Hand off to the inside with Royce Freeman, who is stacked up as Smallwood and the gang. Here comes pressure. And there goes Adams. Harrington in motion. That missed opportunity moments ago. Adams going to launch it downfield. And it is caught by Freeman over the shoulder into the hands and the Ducks stay alive 28 yards on third and 16 clock counting down Adams sprinting quick strike complete to Carrington second and three Addison in motion they swing it over to Addison does he get the block stay in bounds no forced out as he couldn't keep his balance so he checks at the line Freeman and Addison in the backfield with him low snap they're gonna pass here and Addison is sacked flag is down at the 30 throw it down the field there's a lot Holding. of defense number eight it's not yeah. gonna matter a 10 yard penalty results in the first down they got Carrington Lloyd Carrington on the hold yeah they did watch here on the perimeter you got a big 6'5 receiver in Stanford trying to get by what him, and think? Carrington just grabs him by the jersey. Ball's not thrown, doesn't matter. Looking for a thrilling finish here to tie up this game. Overthrowing Addison that time. Here comes pressure right up the middle. Able to get it out, hot to Freeman. Freeman. Looking to make a move, makes one cut and reaches towards the 11 yard line. As they're going to go, splitting Adams out and leaving Freeman for the direct snap. And I don't know that he had the effort to get there. This looks like he's going to be short. Adams has something up his sleeve. Diving ahead that time is Freeman for the first down. In goal, here comes pressure, fakes the end around. Adams, can he escape it? Gets it quickly out and incomplete. As 35 seconds remain. Second and goal, vertical release. Almost intercepted by Brown as he was looking for Dwayne Stanford. Outside, on the move. Here they are with Addison again, launches it. That's the second time we've seen that from Braylon Addison. Here's your ball game, fourth and goal. Adams once again extending the play. Does he have a miracle left in him? Launches it. Two players come together, and it is scored Dwayne Stanford. Oh, my. What did you
good job by Stanford going up and making it his football. I'm watching that and I'm thinking, you know, that might get knocked out of his hands by his own teammate. Strong. Just watch this again. I mean, this looks like Arizona State has this play stopped. They're bringing two guys off the edge to the right, the guy up the middle. He's trying to go to Carrington at first. He buys the time. Here he's got to start running backwards and just heaves this thing across his body. Just a headsy, headsy play by the Eastern Washington transfer to give his team an opportunity to push this thing into overtime here on the road. That's just unbelievable. And how about that? After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. Arizona so, State has charged the timeout, and, and they may not challenge for the remainder of the game. They turn to the foot of Aiden Schneider. That's a nice night of work, isn't it, Mr. Thomas? Wow. You don't give the return man a chance here. That's a loaded ball right there. That was dangerous for a moment right there. I'll just take a knee here and send this thing to overtime. As they motion out Freeman, Adams empty set. Look at the time he has. And he gets the completion and one cut. And guess who it is again? Dwayne Stanford. Touchdown on the first play of overtime. Oregon's offensive line has had to stop. You see they got a double team on one guy. There's time for Vernon Adams to look down the field. And he hits the man of the minute right now in Dwayne Stanford. How about that for your, for your overtime offensive oh. series? A one play, touchdown. Dwayne Stanford had a better 12 seconds of football in his career than the last 12. So can Arizona State match here? Pavici, as he was trying to find something, but all he found was Rodney Hardrick. Here, Berkovici, great read by Berkovici. And he is inside the 10, first and goal. Arizona State. Boy, he read that perfectly, Jess. Berkovici with time now being pursued to the end zone and throws it away as it was Buckner who was giving chase. Ineligible receiver downfield. Offense number 73. Five yard penalty. You play first down. And first and goal. Berkovici. Over the middle. They have two men in the area. This is the 101st play for Arizona State. Quick strike inside to the two-yard line to D.J. Foster. Richard in the backfield with Berkovici. Third and goal. They're going to pass. Here's White. Can he get there? Reaches. Touchdown! What an effort by Tim White, the Juco transfer. He's being wrapped up. Stretches that football out over the goal line into the pylon. Tremendous job. Nice answer by Arizona State. And that's where we are. And they flip rolls in double OT. And once again, Berkovici running the ball. Foster and Richard. In the backfield, stacked up at the line of scrimmage by Coleman. Third and three. Quarterback run, he's got it and more. Inside the five, diving into the end zone. The big night for Mike Berkovici continues. A great job setting up the draw, but watch Richard get downfield and get a block for him at running back. The offensive line sells pass. There's the lane, and look at number four. Hat on a hat. There were two blocks down the field, actually, for Berkovici to take advantage of. That was his 16th carry on the night. And Gonzalez will make it 55-48. They will start with Freeman. And Royce Freeman now with a first down on the first play of double overtime. Here it comes. Here he goes again. 
as he bounces his way inside the 10. Looks like they're going downhill. And here he goes again, this time wrapped up as DJ Calhoun made a nice play. Adams to pass on third down. Now comes forward. Can he get to the edge? Adams diving ahead. Touchdown, Vernon Adams. Look at this. For now, hands are raised. Watch this effort as he's trying to push this football across the line. The elbow Forearm goes down. Being down. Yep, and it looked like it hit the ground before the football broke the plane. At Eastern After Washington. Review, the ruling is the runner was short of the goal line. Freeman just walks his way in. A little something extra there between a couple linemen, but. Oh, they got a good surge in on them, didn't they? They were flying off the edge to try to block that, but Schneider drills it through. Here with Freeman, and now he motions out and flags are down. He had early movement on the offensive line, eager to get pulling on that other guard. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense, number 78. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Defensively, first and 15 now backed up to the 30 for Adams. Looks one way, and now the quick feet. Always oh, looking to extend the play. Can't take a big loss in a spot like this. Survives it somehow, gains yardage, cuts back inside the 20. How did he pull that off, Jesse? It's incredible, but Joe, he's done it time and time again tonight. It's like, a, it's like Houdini. First you see him, then you don't. Look, I mean, just, it's like playground football. He's holding on his left hand. Stretching it out, unbelievable. Second and five now. To the end zone he goes. Was he in? They're talking it over. No. Touchdown! Ooh. Braylon Addison! They say somehow, some way, he got his foot down. No, I'm, I'm shocked it took that long. Watch this. Left foot, yeah, that toe looks like it's, it's Yeah, well, guess what, though? You better have the video evidence to say so because they've called it a touchdown on the field. This will be the look right here. Oh, maybe There's a not. camera, There's a in, the camera way. in the way. There's a camera in the way. But, you know, but it looks like even with that. And you see the white there on that tip of the toe. There's enough for me looking right there at that to say that's indisputable that he's out. After review, the running on the field stands. Wow. Touchdown. Trips to the top. And now in motion comes Vernon Adams. He fumbles the snap, tries to survive it, and is taken down. Nothing went right. Ami Latu. Deco on the snap. And that hits him right in the middle of the stomach. He took his eyes off of it. Now that the whole timing of the play is disrupted. And you got a guy who doesn't play quarterback every right. snap out there and, on a the critical snap of the game. And by the on way, two point conversion. Vernon. Play action. Berkovici. Wide open. Tim White. He had the big play stretching it across. And now he sets up first and goal. Berkovici, slam! Oh boy, that was almost a game closer for Oregon as that ball was lingering in midair off the deflection. Gonna pass again. Intercepted! Arian Springs, game over! Good night, Arizona State! The Ducks are soaring! What a thriller in the desert. Ninth straight win for the Ducks over ASU.